In Minnesota, golf season can't begin until old man winter leaves town. So the golfers of St. John's University didn't have much chance to thaw out before traveling to Indiana for the Division III National Championships. But the Johnnies are a hardy bunch, and they had no trouble warming up to the idea of competing for a national title. We, we only play in the spring coming into this term. We only play a month on grass. We played in our first tournament this spring before our golf course was open. But that's, that's the nature of the beast. You can't complain about it. You just have to find a way to get the job done. We play indoors and we hit, hit balls off mats, which isn't the greatest thing on the planet, but we do all right. They did more than just all right in the national tournament. The Johnnies took the outright lead early on after shooting the low round on both the second and third day. You would think that winning St. John's first ever title would be incentive enough for this team, but they also had some super motivation. This Halloween we uh, flew home from Atlanta after a golf tournament wearing Superman costumes. They were meant for about 10 year olds. And uh, the deal was if we won today our coach would uh, put one of those on. It looked like Coach Bob Alpers would soon be sliding on the blue tights as long as junior Clinton Dahman continued to play like a superhero. Dahman was the most consistent golfer in the field, and he led by five shots after three rounds. His teammates were also playing well, and St. John's began to pull away. The Johnnies were making their eighth straight appearance at the national meet, but they had never finished higher than third. And that all looked to change in 2007. On the last hole of the tournament, Dahman was so far ahead that only a disaster would keep him from winning. His teammates were pulling for him as he lined up a par putt to finish. Dahman wasn't happy with a bogey, but he had three reasons to smile. The individual title, a national championship for his team, and the chance to see his coach dress up like the Man of Steel. He's got a uh, Superman costume waiting for him for the plane ride home tomorrow. Well, we get to see Superman fly, I guess.